Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. EA have all of a sudden decided to go full rap mode with footies. We have a huge SBC league to talk about and we even have ratty cards being released in SBCs right now. We had the LaCroix SBC yesterday, one of the most ratty center backs in the game. We have a Ben Yedder that is upcoming via the swaps program. And this, this SBC league is massive. I know a lot of you guys have seen it, but it's making prices move already on the market. And it just seems like EA are now deciding to put out all of the, the meta rats as special cards and footies, which is kind of crazy, but it is what it is. So we'll take a look at that. And of course, look ahead to a big Wednesday today on FIFA because Wednesdays are voting days. And what is really big about today's voting day on Wednesday is... We're going to figure out most likely what this next week of FIFA will look like in terms of what the focus is, right? We have had Serie A this week, Brazil last week, Premier League week one. What's going to be our focus this next week? Is it going to be France? That's what everybody thinks right now based off of La Croix and this other leak that we have. But I think we really need a dynamic duo leak or a voting SBC today to really cement that and make sure that that's what's going to be the case. So we're going to look at all that and more in today's video. If you're enjoying footies at the moment or if you're hyped for this league card, hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. This is the big boy leak right here and oh boy is it a big one. It is a card that has had no specials at all this year until now. Ferland Mendy is added to come via footies premium. SBC. I want to talk about that for a moment too. A premium car design for a five-star skill moves, five-star weak foot, Furland Mendy. Now, this is an insane card. Absolutely insane, right? These are stats predicted, but this is the special card that everybody has been wanting to see in, during footies. I would say a top three most requested footies card to be released this year, and it looks like we're getting it based off the leak. Now, what's massive about this? Well, it's Furland Mendy. Probably going to be the best French left back in the game. People still use his gold card. Like, they've used his gold card up until and through team of the season. That's how good this guy is in game. This card is going to be absolutely disgusting in the game. He's going to be 5-star, five 5-star. Five star. He's going to have all the links in the world. But the interesting thing that I noticed right off the bat here is he is a premium card design, which means he has the premium links. Where So he links like a foot hero. Now, the weird thing about this is the only cards that we have received that are premium footies items so far have been through the voting SBCs. So think about guys that won the vote, right? Rafinha, uh, Luis Diaz, Kai Havertz. Those guys all got premium cards because they won the vote or premium cards have come via the dynamic duo, right? Those are the only two places that we have gotten premium cards. This Ferland Mendy is being leaked as a standalone player SBC that is a premium footies item i think i don't know if ea is changing it up this week but that is different because if you think about all the other footies favorites that we have had they've all been the regular footies cards like lacroix like ferran torres like jabril so like jonathan david right these are all of the favorites cards or just random footies sbcs they haven't been the premium items so that makes this one a little bit interesting in its own right something to notice either it's an error here and then foot sheriff is wrong and it's not going to be a premium or ea just knows the gravity of the situation and wants everybody to go out and do Ferland Mendy, so they're just going to make him a premium item. I could see both of those things happening, but regardless, Ferland Mendy getting a special card, absolutely insane. How much is this going to cost? That's that's really a question that I have. The most expensive um, SBC that we have had during footies has been Luis Diaz, 278,000 coins. I would be surprised if this Ferland Mendy is less than 300k. I know fodder is not that expensive on the high tier. So if they make it three, four squads to complete, you know, I, I can see this guy being anywhere between 300 and 500,000 coins to complete because EA just know the situation with this card. He's also going to be five star, five star. And sometimes they do place, place a higher price tag on some of those players that are five, five, but that's just an insane card, right? And of course, this SBC and the leak of this dropping yesterday already moved cards on the market i want to take a look at some player prices because as you might expect people are already preparing and getting ready for this sbc first of all you have the links to this card going up in price Vinny jr yesterday in a short hour time span after the leak was tweeted went from 1.07 all the way up to 1.2 1.25 million coins he's now back down to 116 
And, you know, he was even a little bit lower than that before, but slightly bouncing back up. Same thing happened with Militao. Militao went up 100K from 230K all the way to 330. I was telling people we were live streaming when this happened. I was like, guys, get out, sell the card. Because these cards, think about it. They have been in packs for the past two weeks. And these cards are probably going to be in packs again this Friday. I think some of the team of the season cards are going to maintain their stay in packs during batch number three even though we'll have a lot of shapeshifters in packs. So I think these guys could still get some more supply. So if you sold, bought in anywhere before this and sold here, GG's. Now I did buy a couple of Militao's at like 255 because I thought, okay, people bought him up. He, they sold him back down. He went back down to like 250. Now he's kind of slightly rising back up again because this leak still is a very serious SBC that could be coming. So that was kind of what happened on the market in terms of links to Mendy. Now, of course, cards that would be replaced by Ferland Mendy, right? You have two sides of the coin here, cards that link to him and cards that would be replaced by him. Teo Hernandez left back, team of the season, arguably the best French left back in the game right now. He went from 330,000 coins, nosedive to 240, rebounded back all the way to 320 where he is right now. So he almost rebounded back 100% in price. If you have this card, I would sell it. I would get this one out. He's rebounded back from his initial panic sell. Um, crazy, right? Like a card like Ferland Mendy causes this type of panic sell. And, and it's actually a great opportunity uh, to sell that card and also Marcelo's captain's card. Marcelo is still down a lot. He didn't rebound back as much as Teo did. Teo probably is helped out by the fact that there's a lot of Serie A love right now. But uh, Marcelo was 400,000 coins, went to 240 bounced all the way back to 300 and now he is 280k i think that marcelo and teo hernandez both are going to fall further the only reason that they would not fall further is if this ferland mendy is like five six seven hundred thousand coins very very expensive and he's not five star five star basically think about the ronaldinho situation if everybody looks at that and says I don't want to do this SBC, then maybe Marcelo and Teo Hernandez could go back up a little bit. But I don't see that happening with a footies card, right? These SBCs have been very good value. A five-star, five-star Ferland Mendy would just be absolutely incredible. So I think that those cards have a more potential to continue to go down. But that leak in itself, that just this card right here is crazy. Now, the other question we have to ask is, when in the world is this going to drop? And some people are thinking, Nate, could this be on Thursday could this be on Friday? My gut feeling is it's going to be on Friday, but really we have no idea. And if you remember last week, I think we had Jabril So um, and Ferran Torres on back-to-back -back days, like Wednesday and Thursday. We had LaCroix yesterday. I really don't know when this Ferland Mendy is going to be dropped. Again, it's it's just the, the SBCs have been dropping pretty randomly. Apart from like the, um, the voting SBCs, we know we get those on Fridays and we get those on... Um, Sundays. That's why I'm uh, really curious about this Furland Mendy because it's a standalone. Like I said, it's the only premium footies SBC that we have seen a leak for uh, that, you know, is a standalone SBC. So like Furland Mendy's gold card is still 9k. Like what? I, I don't know when this SBC is going to be dropped. I would say the least likely chance would be today on, on Wednesday. I think Thursday, very high probability. I think Friday has a high probability as well. So we will just have to wait and see what happens. But that is a huge, huge SBC leak, as of course you would expect. And it's going to continue to move more cards on the market when it does drop. That's just going to be a card that like everybody wants to get in their team. So we'll be looking out for some more information on that. But like I said, EA is going full rat mode. We got the LaCroix SBC yesterday, which, you know, his card doesn't look that amazing, but it's LaCroix. I'm still going to do him because he's probably insanely overpowered in game as he has been all year long. I would have liked a little bit bigger of a boost, but still a decent card, only 140k to do. Not terrible crafting it with some fodder, right? And of course, we have this 98 Ben Yedder that is coming out during swaps too. So it's like EA has uh, flipped the switch and they're putting out like all the ratty players. Watch out for like Renato Sanchez. I don't even know who else could be dropping, but you know, it just seems like we're getting those types of ratty players at the moment. Now, let's talk a little bit more about today on Wednesday because... It's going to be another pretty big content day. Yesterday on Tuesday was okay. We had LaCroix. We had the re-up. We had a brand new 94 plus uh, shapeshifter player pick. Not a bad day of content. Not super insane though either. Now today on Wednesday will be a pretty big day though because the 85 times 10 is re-upping. That's going to be an SBC that 
everybody's gonna wanna do. The 86 plus re-ups as well, and so does the 90 times seven. So a big day in that, those categories per usual and normally, right? Nothing super surprising there. Now also today is gonna be our vote, and that's where it gets interesting because we do not have any leaks about a dynamic duo at the time that I'm recording this video. If we have a leak of a dynamic duo set of players that is French, or if the footies voting is French today, it's based around all French players, that would make me think that this next week of FIFA is going to be based around French. I think, or France, right? I think it's a little bit too early to just assume that based off of the Mendy and based off of Lacroix, that it's going to be a France-based week. But I think, you know, that's the front runner, 100%. And I feel like that could be the case. But I don't want to try to guarantee anything until we see either of those two things that I just mentioned today. Because that would be kind of like the kicker. That would be a sign of, all right, EA Sports, we kind of know what's coming based off of this vote and based off of this leak, what this next week would look like. And if that's the case, like we saw last week on Wednesday, it was a great time to go out and buy Serie A cards last week on Wednesday. Um, because some of their prices started to rise back up. So even if you think about some players right now that are maybe some of the most elite French special cards in the game, I think about maybe some team of the seasons, you know, even like a team of the season, Ben Yedder, you know, that would be a card that I would want to keep an eye on. You know, it's a little bit tricky this week because we're going to have the shapeshifters back in packs. So any of your French cards that are shapeshifters like Kalulu, um, or, you know, I think of the Mukiele, that's a, a really a lower tier card that is a French shapeshifter, but looking through some of the special French items on the market, all I would say is just try to make sure you're finding some cards that are really, really rare. Like is Ribery or Ginola going to go up that much? Probably not a ton because, you know, nobody can afford them. Conte, same thing. All the France cards are really, really expensive. Claude Maurice, 84,000 coins. I mean, he's a left back, so he might get hurt by the value of, um, he might, he might get hurt by the, release of a Furland Mendy. Now his price is actually up at the moment. I think he just gets really rare in spikes, but you know, that's a card that I would be very careful with buying. I might look into some of your team of the seasons, even though they still could be in packs, you know, there's, you know, a lot of team of the season cards that are French that could do bits, right? Maybe a Chow Many, 45,000 coins. Like he's basically fodder anyway. Ben Yedder, 190,000 coins, dirt cheap. Payet, 40K, really, really cheap, really good card. Uh, you saw the the Brazilian goalkeepers did really well. I would keep an eye on like Lafont and Yoris. Those would be cards. If it's going to be an, a French mode this next week, keep an eye on him. Even a guy like Terrier, like these guys that are so close to that fodder range, like how many being 45,000 coins like that's that's crazy crazy cheap so not telling you to go and buy these cards what i'm just trying to say is i'm putting some ideas out there of some french cards that might have potential movements up in price i think people are already starting to look to buy like kunde um or fakir you know kunde was 45k did he jump yesterday with the leak yeah maybe a little bit he went back down to 43 so you know, stuff that I would say to watch out for would just be your French cards and hopefully some of your French cards that go out of packs, you know, if they're not in batch three, that would help them out later on this weekend. But it would probably, a, it would be a good time right now to think about putting together your French team. And that's what we talked about last week too, right? If there's going to be a French based week on FIFA, uh, start to maybe put together a car. <laughs> wow. I have a lot of French icons. I was playing with a full icon squad in, um, in champs playoffs yesterday, but Start to maybe plan out, okay, I've got XYZ France players on my team. What kind of players would I need to fill some gaps, right? You know, like I've got a goalkeeper. I've got left mid, striker. I think I've got a pretty solid French team. Yeah, absolutely. We are sorted when it comes to our French team. But look through your club. Look at the players that you have and then kind of decide from there as to what you might need to go pick up while prices are a little bit lower before we get to the weekend on some cards you know, just kind of think through some of those things. So that's why Wednesday is such a big day today, because it'll just give us that knowledge of what is coming next. Now, also 85 times 10, all those other SBCs that are refreshing today on Wednesday as well. We have to take a look at SBC fodder. Absolutely, we do. Because fodder is still, of course, at its inflated state. 84s, 83s, 83s are 4K, 84s are about 6,000 coins. These guys, you know, 
they they did go up a little bit yesterday, but just not as much. I mean, Emmy Martinez was like 6.6K. He went up to 7K. All your 84s are 7,000 coins yesterday. Could they go even higher today? I think that's absolutely possible. And I would continue to say a guy like Acuna at 6.2K, 6.4. If you're trying to trade with any cards today, I, I still like the 84s. The only thing I will say about today on Wednesday is with the voting day, they will most likely drop a voting day SPC, which will bring a little bit of tradable supply to the market. Not a lot, but just a little bit. Um, but again, you have so much demand, 85 times 10s, people are always gonna be doing those. And um, people are going to wanna do those today for sure. So I think your 84s could rise up a bit. I think your 80, I, I love 85s, man. They're such a good flip too, because some of these 85s, they, they still hit prices of like 11 to 12K. And if you can get them in the low nines, like in Diddy was 9.8K and spiked to 12,250 yesterday. Like that's almost a 3K swing. You pick a couple up on bid at like 9.3, 9.4K, you sell at 12. You know, cards like that are the ones, I would still do a bit of a club stock before content today. I think that's a smarter move. I doubt that these cards are gonna go lower after 6 p.m. content today. I'd be very surprised with that. So maybe do a little club stock per usual, put those in the club, set yourself a little bit ahead uh, before we get into today's content time. And once again, if we're still talking market, I have to shout out these shapeshifter cards and their prices. Um, and especially with the objectives this week for, you know, we looked at it in last night's video, guys like Timo Werner, some of your Dutch and some of your Germany players have risen in price just because of the objectives that have required some of those players and it's made their cards prices rise up. But shapeshifters in general, I would really be looking to take the cash guys. I really would because all of these guys are going to be back in packs. I think at least 75, if not even 100% of all the shapeshifters will be back in packs um, come this Friday. And even the hero cards included in that. Yes, Ginola, Gomez, Morientes, Junberg, they're going to need to lower some price ranges because I think like, okay, Rickens price is 16,000 coins, but I know some of these shapeshifter cards are at the like bottom of their range. And just like some of the other earlier specials, they need to get downgraded ranges. So, you know, I, I would just say in general, be careful with any shapeshifter cards that you own, especially the really, really rare ones. A guy like Kyle Walker, I know that 1.7 mil, you know, he is worth a lot. He's already started to go down, right? I mean, we, we started talking about this stuff even on the weekend and you've already started to see prices drop down a bit. You, you especially think about, um, wow, Kyle Walker was 1.6 mil and now he's 1.77, but especially if you think about so many people going to a French team, this next week of FIFA, if it is French based and they drop a lot of really, really good cards, that's not only gonna impact people playing and you know doing squads for a cup, right? A lot of the French cards, they make it into people's main teams. And you know, people would sell a Kyle Walker like this potentially to go out and get you know, players like a Mendy and find other French players that they could use to link him in their team. And some of these cards, especially getting back in packs with the people changing their teams around to build around French players. And at the same time, the shapeshifters in packs. I just really think that some of these shapeshifters have a, a pretty, they have a long way to fall. You know, a guy like Ronaldo still being like 12 million coins. You know, a lot of his price drop is just going to be purely panic selling. I think that he he can drop under 10 mil. It might not be until Thursday um, because I don't know if we're going to get a loading screen today on Wednesday. That's more of probably a Thursday type thing. But that's something you have to watch out for as well is when we do get a loading screen like that, you're going to start to see some panic and you're going to start to see some people list. And it just kind of comes down to are people going to start listing uh, earlier than that. You've seen the price drop offs like we mentioned, right? Even with the Mendy leak. This Marcelo card is still kind of inching down in price. 335, 33 flat for Marcelo right now. But I think a lot of these top tier shapeshifters are just overpriced. And you're going to see them their prices fall today, tomorrow, and into the end of the week because they are probably coming back into packs as a part of batch three. So it's just crazy times right now because there's so much anticipation for Friday. Batch three in packs, shapeshifters in packs. We now have this um, Mendy SBC that we're all kind of like anticipating and, and waiting for. The hype is building for Friday. It's going to be a really, really, really big Friday. Uh, swap tokens, by the way, we did get a new SBC yesterday. So make sure you go out and get the um, Against the Tide. Is that the name of the SBC that we had yesterday? I think that was the one. No, no, it was Performance is Key. This was our brand new um, SBC that was dropped yesterday. And according to 
foot bin. It's only 4,000 coins to do. So thank you, eSports, for finally making a token SPC uh, really cheap instead of it being 20K like it was earlier on. But today's a big Wednesday. We're going to be live streaming it all. Twitch.tv slash the foot account. Link down below in the description. I'm excited to see if they drop Furlan Mendy early. I wouldn't mind that because I wouldn't mind having something to kind of craft for. Do 82 plus player picks, 85 times 10, and, and turn in some of those... Um, you know, kind of craft that SBC before we get to Friday. I wouldn't mind that. But also on the other hand, a Furlan Mendy feels like it should be dropped on a Friday. It's just that big of a card. It feels like that's when it should be dropped. So let me know in the comments what you guys think when that SBC is going to be dropped and what your thoughts are for these next coming days of FIFA Ultimate Team inside of footies. But if you enjoyed the video, again, hit the thumbs up on it and subscribe if you are new. It has been Nate Foot Account, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.